We back. Let's put some work in. Um, this is the second film session of the week. Go watch the first one if you haven't. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, some more Dak Prescott stuff today, just a little more Kellen Moore scheme stuff, uh, just so we can get an idea, just a full-blown education on this pre-snap movement stuff, you know, just how we're doing things differently with this offense. Um, on this play, this is the Dak interception. I'm not showing it for the interception. I'm showing it because this thing was set up so beautifully, man. Uh, I'm going to run the play first because, you know, a lot of people but hey, when I start talking about the film and I haven't really shown it yet, um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pick, uh, you know, throwing it to Cobb or whatever. But man, look look at how wide open Amari Cooper is right there. Let me get you right there and just take a look at this, man. Look at how wide open Amari Cooper is. And I wanted to show you on this play because I think it's fantastic. I want to show you how. Uh, how we got wide open and if we didn't have this much pressure in the backfield Dak would have hit him and it probably would have been seven uh, knowing the kind of yak guy that Cooper is so let's take it all the way back in the days here um, first of all, we have a bunch formation, right? Now we're in this bunch formation because we just kind of want to see how you react to the bunch formation. Are you going to bunch with us? And if you do, then we'll probably, you know, try to, you know, try to pick you or something like that. But we just want to see what you're doing, right? Um, we're going to have a formation shift and Michael Gallup is going to go to the outside. Josh Norman is going to go with him. We know that. Um, that just makes sense. You know, we're just not going to have the, have, um, you know, just the field outside the numbers just wide open like that, right? So Josh Norman is going to go with Michael Gallup but this is the next bit of information that really sold the play and let me know that Coop was going to be wide open way before we even snapped the ball. Randall Cobb is going to go in motion and when Cobb goes in motion somebody going to go with him uh, 45 right there is going to is going to um, is going to go with him. Now let's just take a look at Cooper's route because that's something else that we as the audience need to know we know that Cooper is running this pivot this disco out and in whatever you want to call it we know that he's running that so we need the middle of the field to be wide open now it is wide open but it wasn't by chance that the middle of the field is wide open we earned that let me show you how we earned it first of all if we know coop is going to end up in this vicinity we need to move two people we need to move this guy we need to move this guy okay now how are we going to move this guy well let's put around cob in motion and just make him go with him you know what i'm saying um now with Randall Cobb going to the other side of the formation here, this DB going with him, we know that the Redskins are playing man coverage right now. So if they're playing man coverage, we know that this linebacker is going to chase around the running back wherever he goes. We know Josh Norman is going to chase around Michael Gallup wherever he goes. And if we want Coop to be wide open over the middle. Cool. Let's use the running back. Take a look at the running back here. I don't know if it's Zeke or Tony or whatever, but let's take a look at the running back. He's going to go out for a swing. This linebacker is going to go with him. Damn, that's a lot of space in the middle of the field. That's why you look at look at look at what this was pre-snap. Look, just look at what this was like five seconds ago. Now we do a little bit of information. Look at how wide open we are. Just just moving guys around, recognize that as man. Oh, it's man. Okay, let's put my running back on a swing. Let's get Michael Gallup way the hell downfield. Let me move the remote. Let's get Michael my, uh, uh, Gallup way downfield so we can take Norman with him. And now Coop got the wide open. But um, things didn't didn't go 100%. Connor Williams got beat by Deron Payne and it kind of forced a little, uh, forced a little bit, of, bit of uh, pressure here and Dak actually ended up throwing it to Randall Cobb now I think you know that you know that that read works I don't have a problem with Dak throwing the ball to Cobb but I wanted the you know just to have a better throw I wanted you know and like this looks like a mismatch Cobb was really beating this dude um but in a perfect world I want Amari Cooper to get this Dak on football and we just yak him to death but that's just me maybe maybe if Dak would have had a cleaner pocket he would have saw Coop now this ain't the result that we're looking for but this play is fantastic I like how it was drawn up and I hope that we go back to it uh some point later on in the season but let's keep watching so a lot of people ask me, yo, Vash, why didn't we do a, do um, do as much pre-snap motion this week as we did versus the the uh, Giants there? Well, it depends on your opponent. You know, the Giants, they like to do a lot of movement on defense. They like to disguise things. OK, cool. If you're going to if you're going to hide and disguise what you're doing, then we're going to, you know, force you to show us what you're doing. If you look at the Redskins, man, they ain't really hiding what they're doing. <laughs> like, like, look at how much room this this cornerback's giving Michael Gallup, man. Like, 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 that's a whole first down, bro. Well, that's Cooper. That's a whole first down. So we don't have to pre-snap motion is because we know what you're doing. <laughs> like we, like you're gonna give us space. You're giving us space. It's, it's a, it's a zone look. I can tell by how you're shading. Um, this safety's high. You know what I mean? Like I can tell what you're doing right now. So that's why, um, 
that's why uh you know we didn't you know we probably didn't do as much pre-snap stuff as we um as we did last week but if they're just gonna give us that much room off the rip if they're just gonna show us what we're doing then 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 cool you can you know you can you can tip us off you can give us all this room to navigate i'm gonna show you another example of of what happens when they you know just just gives us a lot of space but um we earned this we earn this you know we we earn this by throwing a ball over the top of people we earn this by you know you know beating the giants or whatever right you know like sure sure this thing is going to be match up the matchup but when we play green bay they're going to play defense knowing that hey we just beat two teams in the air so now green bay's got to play defense to prevent us from beating them in the air and that may help us in the run so all this all this is like carryover information and i think that's important um what else happens when um when we prove that we can beat you in the past and you react to it and you give us a lot of space what else happens um offensively let me run the place so y'all can take a look at it. Y'all see all this space? If I'm Rain Dakota Prescott and I see all this space, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm going boogie a little bit, right? The right thing to do is to boogie there. Now, if it's a bunch of guys in the box, that's probably why we didn't see Dak run too too much last year. If it's a gang of people in the box, man, maybe you really can't pull this off, man. But if if, if these linebackers are gonna bail, <laughs> and this dude's gonna get to the flats real quick, and these cornerbacks are gonna give us first downs worth of space then sure Dak is going to have a lot more lanes to run through um so so that that can be something else that we look at moving forward i don't i don't necessarily want to run Dak like we like uh like like uh carolina runs cam newton or ran cam newton you know because at some point if you keep running it then teams would be able to prepare for it but if it's you know if we're beating you with the, with the with the pass and you're just prepping for Dak as a passing quarterback then every now and then you're going to give us looks like this and Dak's going to be able to make runs like that now will other teams do this moving forward i don't know i have no idea but but it, okay just t take a look down bottom bro like that's a whole first down word for space and let me move them up that's a whole for what are you what are you afraid of are you afraid of the dark what you what you trying to what you what, what you scared i don't bite i got a whole face mask on how i'm gonna bite you why are you giving me all this room like this we, he's giving us room because we earned it because we know that at any minute one of these dallas cowboy receivers can just run past you now michael gallops uh he's gonna be down for you know three four five weeks or whatever and devin smith's coming in that just got even more dangerous because yes michael gallup is a deep threat in his own right but you know man like david smith went the deep threat school. my cable bill was way too high i reached out to affordablesticks.com they sent me a fire stick plug that thing into the hdmi now i get unlimited shows movies and live tv i'm a huge sports fan so i love league pass sunday ticket and i get the pay-per-view fights for free that's something for the whole family you can buy a fire stick for every tv in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable that's affordablesticks.com there's a link in my description you should go click it because speaking of, of devin smith going to deep pass school take a look at him up top man i'm a really um give you an idea of what i think um was the real reason why this happened First of all, this happened because Josh Norman ain't as good as he think he is. Let's just go ahead and get that. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, Josh. You look upset, brother. What's going on? What What are you doing? Why Why you Why you Why you bumping into Devin after the touchdown? You ain't want to be that close to him a second ago. Look, you wasn't that close to him right here, Josh Norman. You wasn't that close to him right there, Josh Norman. Why you want to get all close up on him right there? Get away from him. Um. Anyway, um, so 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 we knew that if we could that if we could isolate Josh Norman that we can run past him uh, because you know like I said he's he's not as good as he think he is. But um, if you take a look at him, this safety right here, I wanted to 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 take a look for myself when the when the uh, big film come out when the twenty two film came out. You know what I mean the the uh, coaches joint right here. So I wanted to see why did this safety bail out and leave josh norman one-on-one -on -one with um with uh devin uh devin smith <clears throat> i ran this play a little bit run it run it run it run it run it you see you you just see cooper and and cobb crossing right here these are some deep crosses right here and i don't think that was by a mistake i don't think that you know these ain't even posts really <laughs> these ain't even posts they just crossing the field i think that's on purpose i think we ran coop and uh coop and cobb up here to pull this safety down right here the the safety looked like he's in good position to help out uh josh norman there but he saw amari cooper or 
I'm I'm sorry, y'all. Nineteen and eighteen look incredibly similar. I apologize, but uh, this is Cobb. This is Cooper. Sure. Okay. Cool. This safety saw Cobb and Cooper two on one with this defender here, and that made the safety kind of come down and bite a little bit. But boy, if you're gonna come down and bite a little bit, man, Josh Norman dead as fried chicken right now because you want to be irresponsible. I think that's interesting. You know the fact that we didn't just. Uh, you know that that we saw safety help and we just didn't throw it. You know what I mean? Because sometimes when you when you play, you know you uh, play a uh, defense and they have safety help, you don't want to throw throw deep to that side. I like the fact that we had the idea. Hey man, let's just cross these guys over here. Let's bait this safety, bring him down, and now you ain't got safety help no more. Uh, and that's what's so fun about this thing. <clears throat> Devin Smith, man, can't wait for him next week. Let's keep watching. And this play wasn't even special. It was just executed perfectly. Um, we got a standard read option. You know what I mean? We're gonna get uh this 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 backside read guy, and he's gonna crash down incredibly hard on young Tony Pollard. Hey man, look, hey, he even he even tackled him. Look at him tackling young Tony. But hey, <laughs> Dak Prescott, he made the right read, pulled the football, and um man, talk about some yeah, man. What Josh, why are you why are you dragging yourself? on deck like this you're gonna mess up your clothes come on josh get, get off of deck get off of deck what are you doing <laughs> let's look let's look at the yeah and then, and then, then, then shake hands in front of him. <laughs> shake hands in front of gal for me boy oh man let's look at a cartel view oh man this 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 backside end man he did uh he did the redskins no favors here man um tyron smith is gonna seal this block here boom hey man i thought connor williams had a terrible game man connor williams, i thought I guess so. Uh, <laughs> well, boy, Dak, this cameraman so trash for this, but man, Josh, why are you letting Dak? Da what the hell? Go <laughs> oh man, the bandwagon fool, but you could try and run behind the boy. And Josh Norman just, 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 just got grass stains all on his white socks, man. Hey, Dak Prescott is fantastic, man. Kellen Moore, um, the the entire Cowboy offense, man. We had another good game, man. It was fun. Josh Norman got picked on. Maybe he'll shut his mouth next time. Um, hey, man, let's do it again in a couple weeks, Washington, and you know we'll we'll beat y'all in Jerry where I don't know what's that Thanksgiving or something. I don't know, but um. Hey, this is the second film session of the week, man. I'm going to look at some defense for the third film session, so y'all be sure you stay tuned in for that. Follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D. Y'all hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you know uh, when I drop random film sessions and live streams in the middle of the week, just like this one. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski. Enjoy your day. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay 200 plus dollars a month. I paid 120 a year, or you can go 15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com, hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.